King Balak of Moab sent three envoys to meet with Balaam the soothsayer. The king wanted Balaam to put a curse on the Israelite horde that was making its way toward his kingdom. From the time that they left Egypt, the Israelites were successful in every battle that they engaged. King Balak figured that a nasty curse from Balaam would weaken the Israelites just enough for his army to defeat them. Balaam welcomed the three messengers to his tent and admired the silver cups and jewel-studded trinkets that they had brought to pay him for his services. But he told his guests that they could put their trinkets away. Balaam explained that he was not a magician, but a soothsayer. Soothsayers did not conjure blessings or curses on their own. They discerned what God wanted to say or do and reported just that. If God wants to curse the Israelites, I will happily report that to the king, Balaam said. But last time I checked, God was quite pleased with this marching horde of invaders. So you might recommend to his majesty that he think twice before picking a fight. King Balak did not give up so easily. He had Balaam proclaim an oracle four different times from four different locations, perhaps hoping that a change of scenery would improve the seer's sight. And four times, Balaam proclaimed a blessing on the people of Israel and not a curse. Needless to say, Balaam never received the jewel-studded trinkets he had been offered. The most famous story about Balaam recounts the day that he was not paying much attention to God as he journeyed toward a meeting with King Balak. Balaam was so focused on his agenda that he failed to notice the angel that God had placed in the roadway to block his path. It was not until his donkey suddenly halted and started reprimanding Balaam that the seer came to his senses. While famous, this little episode does not accurately capture the full Balaam story. In general, Balaam was a very faithful soothsayer who listened to God's word and spoke it as clearly as he could. Although few of us are soothsayers, Balaam's example encourages us to pray more attentively and listen more carefully to what God is trying to say to us and to faithfully share the news with others regardless of how well it might be received.